Game one is on Yoshi. Here we go. I forgot to check what colors they were again, because I'm a silly. But, uh, that's when Solar are red. Pro and Kaiju have rem are remaining green, and in fact it's Solar and Dazwa. And wow, Solar makes Quickly. a quick ed exit. As and does Dazwa. So yeah. Wow. Um, so we'll see if... This stage is very scary. Yeah, I don't I know how they Solar decided to pick... I mean, maybe they thought, like, you know, Peach Down Smash, but I don't see Peach Down Smashing. Yeah, which is strange, because normally Solar is all about Down Smashing. All about? All about it. All about He's like... So this is gonna sound like I'm insulting Sola here, so bear with me here. He rolls, roll down smashes more than like anybody I've ever seen in my life. I don't know, man. My Peach is pretty roll down smashy. <laughs> but but anyway, so um, here we are. Uh, Pro and Kaiju have a pretty firm handle on the situation. Yeah, especially doesn't help Solar just clip Dazzle with a neutral air. Ooh ooh ooh. Oh. Well, we got team kills though. For the first Ganon's first stock. Yippee! Oh my goodness! There's a lot of stomping happening. That was um. A little, a little bit disrespectful. Um, I don't know. Could Dazwa have gotten himself out of that situation? It didn't seem like, it didn't seem like a situation where he had to get buried. Yeah. Oh, oh man, invincibility coming in just in time. Dazwa is excellent at those reverse fares. I'm convinced they're all absolutely on purpose at this point. Oh sure. But I totally believe it. Oh wow! But Dazwa unfortunately gets the fair on his own teammate. As he edge guards. Um, I almost said this is still a one stock match, but. Uh, yeah, four tilt's not going to combo into four there at this point. Yeah. It will, however. Oh, stomping through those platforms is so scary. Yeah, it's really scary on the stage. Ooh, double, sp double tip and spike. Double the hit lag. Well, hitting them not at the same time is what changes the amount of hit lags. Right. Yeah. That was that went fast. I don't know what that was, but whatever that was, it went fast. Oh, the empty hop pivot fair. Oh, four tail. Yeah, this is borderline not doable. They have there has to be some pretty big mistakes from. Uh, Throw in kaiju, but oh, just that goes and <laughs> goes and appears all of them. That almost would have counted. But that would have done it. Yeah. That would have been pretty funny. Um, but yeah. I mean, Ganon kind of has this thing in teams where, like, if you run into hitboxes, it's kind of your own fault. Yeah. Um, and his hitboxes are horrifying. Yeah. But but here's the thing, like, if they're out there and they're hitting people, like two times out of three, ideally, you'll be hitting right. the right person. Yeah, exa exactly. <laughs> ideally, You're, it's in your favor. Yeah, the odds are forever. The odds are forever in your favor. Yes. Um, that makes a lot more sense now that you actually finished the statement. Yeah, you're right. I'm a scrub. I keep forgetting to change the colors. Red team is on the left. Green team is on the right. Man, it's kind of hard to commentate and stream at the same time. Yeah, that seems like it's pretty rough. It's mostly just because I'm not paying attention. Yeah. If I were like 100% focused on just streaming, though, I probably wouldn't be saying anything. Anyway, actually, that's not true. Only one thing happens like every five minutes, so... <laughs> Um, so here we go. Dreamland. Uh, There's some wonky team combos going on here. And yeah, Dazwa opts for Fox, and they go to Dreamland. Um, and so far, it's not getting them much, but yeah, we'll it's, see. It's weird. This is one of the, those instances where the stage is good for both Fox and Peach, but it almost feels like Ganon and Luigi gain more collectively here. Oh, that fireball is quality. Wow. And that could very well be 
Uh, you know, I don't know that Dazzle plays much Fox. I mean, it might be a, one of his secondaries. Uh, but... Because he does have some strange secondaries. Yeah. Like but but definitely character unfamiliarity, again, can right. can, uh, can hurt in these matchups. He's pulled out his young Link before. Yeah. Dazzle. So maybe, yeah. maybe we'll be uh, blessed with his young Link at some point. Well, I definitely had I had the chance to play this team earlier in friendlies on um, before the stream came up, um, and although I was playing very unusual team combos against them, they <laughs> opted for some strange characters as well, just yep. you know to rotate through a few. Yep. So it's totally understandable why these came, why the fox came out. Um, unfortunately, it's not netting him nearly as much as maybe he was hoping. Uh, right. They're working on a seven to three lead. Is pretty bad by any standard. Yeah. Gonna be really hard to come from even with the power of 20XX yep. on your side. Not enough 20XX. Nah, probably not enough. I think he has to go grind out some more 20XX um, <laughs> from uh, from random creeps. Just step away from the setup for a second and say, hey, I need to practice my tech skill. I'll be right back. Oh, I thought it was just something you bought at the, the shop when you entered the town. It could be. Um, but, you know, if you defeat, like, squirrels, on the roadside, you, you get, you get money. Yeah, yeah, you get yeah. money. Because I don't, I don't know. It. It, yeah. I don't know why, but like in every game I've ever played, like squirrels are randomly carrying gold. Yeah. So you go out and farm gold from killing squirrels on the side of the road. Them and like snakes always randomly have. I thought it was well, even like amorphous blobs carry money yeah. in RPGs. And like weapons and stuff like that. Yeah. What are they doing with all that stuff? Maybe they were just trying to start an investment fund for their kids. Like, Maybe. Starting the college fund. And wow, that was a that was... quick five stock on a big stage. Yeah. Um, not 100% sure the Fox pick worked out. For their, uh, yeah, he goes yeah, back, back. He goes to back Sheik. to Sheik. I, it's I totally. This team's matchup character-wise feels like it's pretty rough. I mean, Peach. I... I think Peach doesn't get as much out of it as she normally does versus um, other common team's characters, namely Fox, Fox, and Fox. Right. Because um, Peach can kind of, like, down smash, and Fox, if they're not perfect, will run into it. And because it's teams, it's a lot harder to be perfect. Yeah. Part of what makes Peach so good, what makes Peach able to be good against floaty characters yeah. is the fact that she's able to go out and hit people when, when, they're, uh, when they're recovering. And yeah. that option is a lot less great when yeah. you're doing when you're in doubles yeah all right so <laughs> battlefield or bust yep. you know you know what they say if you're if you're gonna win a best of five you're gonna have to win on battlefield that's true yeah. pretty much just a fact at this point in time yeah because i mean uh, you know you're gonna need your counter picks um and because of dave's stupid rule you'll never You'll never be able to win a best of five without winning on battlefield. Yep. Pretty much. I mean, yeah. I guess like there's some is, people who do weird striking and like whatever, but like right, it is possible, on. but we're, it is not likely. We're northeast. <laughs> we're east coast. Yep. We east coast for, field. We have forgotten about the other stages, and now just go to those reverse four. That was a nice reverse fair, yeah. Very nice. One. All right, so red team goes up for like pretty much the first time. Yep. Um, this set. Uh, wow, that's a meaty down smash, though. Meaty. Caught him with the back end, too. Yeah. Called the roll. Yeah. On a scale of 1 to Angus, I'd give that a solid, like, USDA premium. To a scale of 1 to Angus. On the meaty scale. In case that wasn't. Yeah, no, I, I, I got you. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just surprised that the scale went up to Angus, that's all. Oh, I mean, where else would it go? I don't know. Actually, that's not very high, is it? Yeah. Angus that, doesn't mean anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe, like, maybe from one to, like, filet mignon, or, like, one to ribeye. That was, I mean, those are just cuts, right? It doesn't yeah. actually tell you the quality of the meat. That's it just true. tells you the location of the cut. That is true. That is very So, true. I don't know. Meat's complicated, guys. Um, if you ever get a meaty, uh, if you ever get a meaty move and someone asks you what type of meat, don't just assume it's, like, obvious. You know, this is actually not the first time I've had this conversation with somebody on stream. Really? Yeah. Oh. I, that was. The misfire. The misfire is, is real. Yeah. 
But yeah, there was a whole conversation about uh, we're trying to determine what type of meat Peach's neutral air was. Oh, because it's a meaty move? It's a meaty move, yeah. Uh, and, uh, I would call it... Oh, gosh. It's hard, right? Yeah. It's certainly not something like typical like it's not chicken or yeah i wouldn't call it chicken or a hot dog right those are two just like everyday meat for yeah would you call it <gasps> spam because mm. you can you know oh that's oh, that's a good one you can you can float cancel nair over and over, over and, and over, over i again. like that i like that yeah i'm, I'm cool with that I, right. think, I think peaches nair is most definitely spam we spent a lot of time on that. We could not come up with anything, and then you just yeah. come around and say, I mean, "That's impressive." I mean, <laughs> it's just faster than fair. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, Dazzle misses the ledge. Unfortunate. Yeah. Um, yeah. it was pretty close up until then, but oh, oh a nice double kill. It's still close, but uh. So if Dazzle manages to lose his stock here, then that puts Pro and Kaiju in a pretty good spot. Yeah, but. Yeah. I mean, they're definitely going to want to... Ooh, that's an edge guard. Ooh, oh, that is not an edge guard. That is a... Oh, this is scary. That is uh, probably, once again, character unfamiliarity. Right. But I think green team is going to lose this anyway. Yeah, Luigi is not good at the 2v1 because his ledge camping is not what it needs to be. This is going to be a grab. Ooh, he could have aired. Um, I think he had the, the dare ready just because it was easier to time. But um, there we go. Solar and Dazwa take their first game off of the dream team. The, the dream team. I think you're on my court. I'm sorry about that. That's all right. I forgive you. And just like that, I'm out with my first water. I know. Time for number two. It's a rough world, man. I mean, we talk like for hours on end. It's important to it keep important. hydrated. Gotta stay hydrated. Yeah. Actually, when you play melee for hours on end, too. That's true. Yeah. If you get dehydrated, you get like headaches and stuff. Yeah. And then you start making excuses, like, man, my head hurt that whole time. The sun was in my thumb. The sun, yeah, man. That's a classic problem that people run into. So we're back to Pokemon Stadium with a slightly different cast of characters than the last time we saw them here, I believe. Yeah, interesting. Here. That green team um, is counter-picking this stage. I wonder what that's about. Uh, I think it's, it's pretty close to Dreamland. Uh, it's like a it's a wide stage, so the actual blast zones off the platforms are narrow, but if you're center stage, it's almost impossible to kill Ganon. Yeah. Oh, that was a really, really good situation there that um, Kaiju created for his teammate there. Yeah. To get him back safely. Yep. It's impressive that they managed to pull that recovery together because... And this edge guard is still Ooh. going on Crow. Um, Crow can't catch a break. Yeah. The poor man is old right. and wizened. I think that'll finally do it. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That was an extended edge guard. Yeah, well, first stock goes to... It's taken by the red team, but... Okay. And so does second stock. So there's a two stock lead going here. Is red team finally uh, figuring it out? They might be. Uh, this it's still too close to call, though. Sure, absolutely. You know, this, I would say. It is a lead, but it is not quite a substantial one just yet. Not yet. Later in the game, one stock becomes a more substantial lead, but... Right, it, and it's like, it's kind of just a, a, a proportions thing. Exactly. Where you have one stock to, like, five, Right. they have 500% more stocks than you. Exactly. Which is why getting five stock in teams feels really, really insurmountable. Yeah. Yeah. Pro's got some nice up air strings. He's looking like Captain Falcon <laughs> for a second with those up airs. I mean, uh, curiously enough, he is the only clone of a character, well, semi clone, I guess, yeah. from a different series. Huh, that's true. I didn't yeah. even think of that. Yeah. Well, you know who complains about this a lot? The internets, because they they seem <laughs> to they seem to think that um, that uh, Smash has a fixed number of character slots, and that adding a clone means that they took away their favorite character. Because right. you know, a game just came out, and people were like, "Oh, when is my favorite character getting added?" And yep. then they just came out with three more characters, yeah. proving that clearly uh, the number of slots is only limited by the amount of development time that they want to spend. 
I'm surprised that people don't complain more about Dark Pit in Smash 4, if that's the case. Yeah, I think people do, but do they? I don't know. I'm not, like, a big part of that community, so I don't know. Yeah, I'm not either. What, what's Matt yelling about? I don't know. I don't think it was relevant to us. I don't think so either. Most um, of what Matt says is relevant to me. <laughs> Green Team uh, came back, though. Yeah, they did. This is uh, while we were talking about uh, the internet's and, and the, that, that other game that we're not playing. Um, oh, I think he's saying like you can win, uh, like, w win a game and like get uh, reimbursed or something. Oh. Yeah. Last time like it was like ski ball or whatever, and Voodoo won. So you got free entry. That's pretty dope. Pretty tight. Yeah. IMO. TBH. I hate this transformation. I hate it too, and I don't think anyone else likes it. Um, I don't think green team should be going down there. Yeah, I think... Yeah. Oh, actually that worked out. Oh, oh no! Oh, the irony of this. So suddenly, this is... It's doable this, by this either hard. team. There's so much work that red team has to put in. I agree. Problem. Yeah. Uh, they are they are giving up center stage. Oh, oh no, my goodness. <laughs> oh no. You don't want that either though. All right. So we're just throwing wizard's foots out. And the there's feet. the four there. Wow. That's 3-1 to Crow and Kaiju over Solar and Dazla. That 